Hello, welcome. What are we talking about this week? Let's talk about what we're talking about. Uh, never mind. Rhett and Link are coming back. I don't know if anyone else uh, checks out Good Mythical Morning. I know my family are huge fans. I enjoy it. I don't think it's the greatest thing ever, but they do some good stuff. We're, we're choosy about what we watch. But looking forward to seeing some more of their work. They do some good stuff. Um, what else? Scuba diving last weekend. Not sure. I I enjoy scuba diving. It's just a pain in the butt, man. But whatever. What else? Oh, fantasy football. I spent a bit of time now for mock drafts. Um, I am a two-time champion and multi playoff bound team or continually playoff bound team, multiple playoff appearances. As a matter of fact, I think there's only been one season that I haven't made the playoffs and I'm generally in two or three leagues. So not every league, but that does not impress them. No one cares about my uh, football EP. But regardless, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, a few mock drafts here and there. I think it's important to make sure to do it because even if you have your nice tier based list and you know number one is going to be your kicker it doesn't matter because once you actually get in there and people are taking the players you want and you have to and then you're making those decisions you have your list but that doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're comfortable with and i think that's important so make sure to get in there do a few mocks uh fantasy draft wizard google that and you'll be able to find and do it against robots if you so choose and you don't like doing live mock drafts. Uh, they can take quite a bit of time to do that way. And you may or may not like people. You don't really interact with them so much, but the time involved is much greater. Now that <clears throat> does make it easier to cross people off your list if you do it digitally, um, you know, copy and paste, whatever the case may be. Um, I build my own little Excel sheet where I put my player's name in and then it uh, lets me know how many left I need to pick. I know there are tools out there, but I'm cheap and it, it does the trick for me. Easy to use. And then I can use my own tiers on paper or in a separate Excel document. Um, so the extra time in a live draft can be good. So I guess if you're just sitting around watching a television show, maybe that's a good time for it if you're not really paying attention. Uh, regularly to the draft and and again your pick is sort of uh, you know get experience when you take two running backs take two wide receivers or get a quarterback early what happens to your team uh, so far this year pick has been interesting the worst draft I've had uh, pick 12 every other draft that I've actually been fairly happy with my team draft grades aren't worth a whole lot frankly so again, it's not the grade you're looking for at the end, but if I do this, what do I think of my team? That's going to be highly dependent on your league settings and scoring, you know, well, roster size, uh, positions available and scoring, obviously, those are your settings, right? Um, so take a look, try to get a few drafts in. I think it'll be good for you. If you're new to fantasy football, or even if you're not, it's just good to be in the habit of uh, getting back in there. And if you've already done a few drafts, you probably don't need to mock anymore. What else? Oh, I heard an interesting question. So if you were, or you had a sandwich named after you, what would it be? And I, I don't know specifically what mine would be. Uh, it would definitely involve peanut butter and jelly and i think it would have to involve well and see then again it might be a peanut butter and marshmallow probably peanut butter and jelly and cereal i don't know exactly what kind of cereal or in what context hmm maybe you go with a peanut butter a pretzel bun Pretzel bun, peanut buttered, dusted with 
cereal, you know, the remains of a cereal box, a cereal dust, and jellied up. Something like that. And then, uh, what would you do? You need something a little more. It needs a little more. Chocolate, yeah. See, chocolate would be too much, I think, there. It's not... Maybe you go chunky, obviously. You gotta go chunky. Chunky peanut butters. That's the jam. You need a nice glass of milk that you can dip it in. Because that's that's the best. I get a little, little dip. A little dip in the milk. Uh, I don't, I'm gonna have to think about it some more. Let me know what you would do. But it'd probably involve pretzels, peanut butter. Okay, let's do this. I like it. I like it. We're going to go pretzel bun dusted with uh, cereal. And we're going to go with uh, chunky peanut butter. Lots of chunky peanut butter. And an over easy egg, sunny side up, whatever you want to call it. And cheese. I like a good Velveeta slice. Velveeta slice cheese. The uh, best that I've had. Um, good stuff. Yeah. And then, and then condiment of choice, I would say probably go jelly. Maybe a maybe a strawberry, like a good strawberry jelly. Grapes okay. Raspberry can be fine. I'll probably go strawberry. That's a classic. Yep, that's my sandwich. Let me know what yours is. It's probably disgusting. I'll have to try it sometime actually. And uh, football season's coming up, so it is time for unhealthy food. Maybe next week we'll talk unhealthy snacks. Anyway. Until next week.